All right, Bobcats, so in this video, we're going to talk about tropic hormones and the hypophyseal portal system. So what we're going to discuss is how these hormones that are found within the anterior pituitary, how they get into the blood. Uh, but before I get started, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. So the first thing I want to show you is what I have drawn on the board. This is what represents a cross section of the brain. And the area that we're going to focus on right here is what's known as the hypothalamus. So you have the hypothalamus, and then this is what's represented as the pituitary gland. And this part that I have shaded in green, this is what's known as the anterior pituitary. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to point out is within the hypothalamus, we have our hypothalamic neurons. And within these neurons, this is where releasing hormones are synthesized. So these releasing hormones, they'll travel along the axon of this neuron and then get into this portal system. Once they get into this portal system, these releasing hormones are transported to the anterior pituitary. And then from there, these tropic hormones can then get into the blood and then they travel out here through this venule. Okay, so what do I mean when I say tropic hormones? Well, there are a couple of different tropic hormones you should be familiar with. So what you need to remember is F, L, A, and T. So you have follicle stimulating hormone, you have luteinizing hormone, as well as adrenocorticotropic hormone, as well as thyroid stimulating hormone. And when I say it's tropic, what I mean is that these hormones have another target endocrine gland. So FSH and LH, their target endocrine gland is the gonads. So it varies between males and females. So with males, you have the testes. And then with females, it's the ovaries. For ACTH, the, tar the target is the adrenal gland or adrenal glands. And for thyroid stimulating hormone, it says it in the name, it's the thyroid gland. Some of the non-tropic hormones include prolactin as well as growth hormone. Okay, so what about these releasing hormones? So FSH and LH, they require what's known as gonadotropin releasing hormone. For adrenocorticotropic hormone, we have what's known as corticotropic releasing hormone. For thyroid stimulating hormone, it's the thyrotropic hormone, so, or thyrotropin releasing hormone. Okay, so now that we understand here that within this neuron, within the hypothalamus, we synthesize these particular releasing hormones, they travel along the axon, get into this portal system, get into the anterior pituitary, stimulate the re release of these uh, tropic hormones, and get them into the blood, let's take a closer look at the hypophyseal portal system. So in order to get to the portal system, these releasing hormones, they first have to get into what's known as the primary capillary plexus. And from there, that's when they enter into the hypophyseal portal vein. So they get into the hypophyseal portal vein and then from there they get it gets into the secondary capillary plexus and then from there we get into the anterior 
pituitary. which contains these secretory cells. So this releasing hormones, they're traveling through this route and then they'll get reach their secretory cell within the anterior pituitary. And then from there, these tropic hormones will then travel through the venule and then they'll get here into the blood. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this lecture.